Nice, it's John here, and today we are doing something a little bit different. You're coming classic car shopping with me. Yes, yes, you are. And today we are on the website Car and Classic. And uh, many of you have asked me, John, how do you find some of these cars that you you buy for your collection? <laughs> the honest answer is always be on the lookout. And I'm always on Car and Classic. And if you've not been to the website, it's www.carandclassic.com. Uh, I know a few people on the Twitter uh, work there. I know Chris Pollitt, big shout out to him, is part of the Car and Classic team. Um, and this is the starting point for where I look for all the cars. And there's loads of different bits that you can um, filter by. And today we're just going to do a bog standard uh, search, which is what I do. Um, and we are going to look for uh, classic cars that are for sale. And only for sale as well. You could do hire and auction and all sorts of bits and pieces. But I like to look for what is for sale. We leave the make uh, blank. I leave the keyword blank. Year two and year from blank. Um, minimum price, maximum price. Well, uh, you know, we're not all made of money. My maximum price normally, uh, you can go up to half a million. Uh, my maximum price normally is uh, two and a half grand. And we're going to do that today um, just to see what we can find locally country we can search for and uh re region as well um, i'm based in lincolnshire we're going to click lincolnshire first so uh this should now show us all the classic cars that are for sale in the lincolnshire area for under two and a half grand today um and what i'll do is just go through and have a scroll through uh, so 25 adverts okay there's a bentley r type for restoration doesn't interest me not even clicking on it right here we go now we're getting into the good stuff we've got a 1988 rover 213s um don't like the look of this so far part exchange cash your way to 82 for sale no idea what that means um but he, the seller uh wants 1995 pounds let's open that in a new tab let's have a look at this rover then uh first thing i love is this green flash stripe down the side not sure on these alloys let's take a look at the back oh my goodness look at this uh the 213s uh f reg Again, not sure on the alloys. Not sure if this door has been painted. Looking at the colour here. Um, what else are we looking at? Okay, we're overexposed on the front here, so we can't really see. But everything else looks good that side. Here we go. Now we're into the good stuff. The interior. Look at them seats. Uh, them cloth velour seats. And they don't look bad, do they? Let's take a quick look at the driver's bolster. Uh, no, that looks nice and good. A little bit of trim loose here, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um under the engine bay yeah nice bog standard um oh that's lovely isn't it let's have a look at the mileage on the taco here Seventy-three thousand miles can't argue with that we've got the stereo uh what looks like maybe an original rover fob here headlining is good sunroof now i'm not a fan of cars with the old sunroofs uh, for the obvious reasons. So what's the uh, the seller said? Uh, my 34-year-old 213S is a simple car. Uh, it isn't perfect with paint blemishes and a little rust here. Okay. Uh, would part exchange for a pre-82 classic car? Okay, so that's an option. It's not one we're going to be buying today, but that is a second car that we've looked at. Not sure how this has managed to get into the search. A model Continental Bentley R, 50 grand. Um, let's just double check our search here. Classic cars for sale search. Okay, car and classics being a bit cheeky this morning, showing us things we don't want to see. MGTF, no, thank you. Um, had one, didn't like it. Mrs. John Cooper hated it. Uh, this Vauxhall Vectra has been for sale on here for a very, very long time. Um, I'm not even going to click on it. Um, it's it needs some love uh what else have we got a citroen xm stand by hold the phone let's have a look at this so this is 300 quid it's in louth what else have we got hidden in the back here we've got something here is that a porsche at the back here um and well, i don't know what this is some sort of modern citroen maybe or ford i don't know i'm not i'm not i'm not taking too much of a good look and i'm recording on a small screen um this needs some love doesn't it oh <laughs> uh okay yeah uh, you, you can sit in it uh the mice have been in here the rats have been in here uh it's 300 quid 
Um, I think it's going to uh, be potentially a donor car for somebody. But, uh, yeah, no, no, let's, let's not go back to, to that. Keep seeing this Bentley that someone wants 50 grand for, for some reason. Uh, right, let's go to the next page. This has been for sale for ages. Uh, 2003 wing for a Jaguar X-Type. Yeah, if you fancy it. Uh, 1950 car for sale. Okay, this has piqued my interest. This is in Spalding. Uh, someone's put a Jaguar emblem on here. Is it a Jaguar? I don't think it's a Jaguar, is it? No, it's a Paramount 1950. Uh, open to sensible offers. So it's not 99 quid. Uh, so let's just try and look there. Uh, rare though, isn't it? A Paramount. Um, not the best advertised uh, car there. Here we go. Now we're talking a 1987 Volvo 760 GLE. It's in the wonderful world of Scunthorpe. Um, look at this now. This looks like it's been looked after. Uh, I've seen this uh, garage before, actually, as in the actual garage. I think they've had a few things on the old uh, internet. Look at the underside of that. That's nice, isn't it? Can't argue with that. Look at them strip top mounts. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wheel centres, had some of those, gave them to a friend. Uh, one for Mr. Seabrook, uh, window, uh, not window wipers, headlight uh, washers. It's two grand if you fancy it. Odometer has stopped working. Oh, that's convenient if you've got limited mileage, isn't it? Uh, what else? Austin Princess, not even going to click on it. Hmm. Citroen BX Estate, uh, 850 quid. Now you're talking my language. Um, Looks good under there. Looks good there. We've got a little bit of rust here. That looks good. That looks good. We're doing so far so good. Is that 18,000 or 186,000? 186, 186,000. Okay. Not sure what the gaffer tape's doing there. Those seats look good though, don't they? In fact, actually, just go, just go back at these seats. They look like airplane seats, don't they? Beautiful. Ah, uh, okay. My, my question was, why is it so cheap? And this is probably the answer. It's had some... Clear body restoration here. Uh, but yeah, cool. Not for me, I'm afraid. Uh, Mrs. John Crick will kill me. But um, but yeah, that's all right. Hey, hang on a minute. What's this? Rover 216. No, oh, it's sold already. It's gone. It's gone. I don't, I'm not surprised at 800 quid. Uh, Frog Eyed Sprite, that's definitely not in my price range. Um, so that's it. That's what's for sale in Lincolnshire. I've not found anything that I'm inspired by. Let's go to Cambridge here now and do the same. Uh, what have we got? Uh, we've got a Saab, which is sold. Um, the search doesn't seem to be working properly on here. For sale, classic cars. For sale, classic cars only. Search Cambridge here. No, still throwing me up all this nonsense. Uh, for Sierra Laser, do you want one? Who wouldn't? Let's have a look. Uh, 1986, it's in Cambridge, not sure what this is here, has it been bashed? This doesn't look right, does it? Um, Sierra 1.8. Yeah, okay, it's growing on me, it's quite tidy, and actually look at the timestamps of, of this look, 12th of the 8th, 2020. Mm, so it's been sat potentially degrading for uh, the past couple of years. Please note, uh, the car is located in southwest France. Uh -uh. No, thank you. Uh, please note the, the car is in southwest France. Okay, not sure how we've managed to do that. Please note the car is in France. How's all these uh, French cars coming on? Ah, now look at this. A rare Rover Commerce van. Yes, please. Look at that. So we've got, it's basically an MGZR, isn't it? Uh, but it's a Rover 25 as well. Modern photographs, good. Uh, that's a bit rare, isn't it? 50,000 miles on the clock. Um, interior looks good. Look at this now. Hey, brilliant. Wowzer. Uh, a rare Rover Commerce van. Very few made. Two litre turbo diesel. Very clean, uh, central locking fitted, uh, built in hands free. This is for sale in Peterborough. Now, that is a nice piece of kit for £2,000. I don't think that will be sitting around for long. It's been online for just about a month. I'm surprised. 
thought someone would have snapped that up. Um, what else have we got? Uh, we've got a 1996 BMW. You can't get excited, sorry. Uh, only a couple left. No, excuse me. Um, in Cambridgeshire now. Hey, look at this. 1993 Fiat Panda. Uh, that's nice. The back roads of the Fens. Um, here, I know exactly where that is, actually. He says it's Peterborough, but it's not. It's uh, very close to Peterborough, but it's not. Uh, the back roads of the Fens, my patch. Um, beautiful. Look at the colour on this. It's a Fiat Panda 750. You've got a dent here in this door. Not a major issue. This looks like it could do with some wax oil. Uh, not sure what's going on with this line here. Um, K Wedge. So that's uh, 1993, isn't it? Recently new lift pump. Uh, I don't know what that means. Full service and gearbox oil. Only been patched along the driver's inner sill. It has a few dings and dents all over it. Yeah, uh, but 47,000 miles from new. I want to see inside. Yes, now we're talking. Look at that. They just don't make them like this anymore, do they? So simple. And aren't the fence beautiful? Um, that's not going to be one I'm adding. Uh, Smart Bravest. I've seen this for sale already. Don't like it. Uh, that's it for Cambridge here. One last one then. We will do um, closer to home. Let's go for bum 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 bum. I was going to do Norfolk. Where's Norfolk gone? Norfolk. Uh, let's have a look at Norfolk. Let's see what the uh, people have got for sale. Ford Fiesta gear. No MOT. We'll need a full restoration. Been off the road for 10 years. I don't have time for that, but that is a lovely Ford Fiesta for somebody. Um, if you're in the Ford Club, A Reg 1984. Uh, oh, needs a little bit of love. Mm, no, I'm not tempted by that. Sorry, Mr. Ford. Uh, this Jaguar, I don't know how that's gotten there. We've got a Morris Minor split screen. No, thank you. Not interested. Nissan Sunny. Meh. Um, I'm really struggling. Ah, now we're talking a 1998 Fiat Cinquento or Cinque Cento, Cinque Cento S Reg 1998 plate. Got a mark on here. Original number plates at the back, looking good. Uh, that boots nice and clean. That engine bay is nice and clean. That interior is nice and clean. Sixty-two thousand miles. Bodywork very presentable. Small dent. Had some welding in the past. Two keys between Wisbeach and Downham Market. Now that looks like a phone call might be had later this afternoon. Uh, eight hundred and fifty pounds. How long has that been for sale? Second of August again. Why aren't people buying these? That is a great little car for eight hundred and fifty quid. Um, I don't know why someone hasn't snapped that up. Beautiful. I'm going to leave that at the top there because I might be uh, making a phone call later on. Nineteen ninety seven Vauxhall Amiga Mare. Uh, ah, now, oh, hey, look at this. Audi 80e, an Audi 80 estate. £1,750, it's a 1993, so this is just before they brought out the Audi A4. 103,000 miles. Bad points, no stereo, headlining, sagging, sagging. A couple of the door cards are scruffy. Well, do you know what? I can't argue with that. That's beautiful. Lovely. Yes, please. Uh... Okay, yeah, so the uh, the um, door cards need a little bit of TLC. Can't argue with that, though, can you? Not for 1,750 quid. Uh, that's it, then. So that's it for this video. Um, thanks for doing a little bit of uh, fun with me. It's the first time I've done this. I've had this idea for a little while. And I want to maybe do it every month, every week. Uh, where we go around the country and we do a little bit of classic car shopping together. Uh, I'm going to go and make a phone call, genuinely, about this 1998 Fiat Cinquento. Or, I don't know how to say it. Um, but for £850, local to me in Whiz Beach, in good nick, uh, I don't think you can go wrong. I think that is a £1,500 car any day of the week uh, sold properly. Yes. Uh, right, anyway, thanks for uh, shopping with me. Um, and if you've liked the video, please let me know. Please give me a thumbs up. Please give me a uh, like and uh, a subscribe, please, as well. And uh, if you enjoyed it, and there's enough people say, do you know what, John, I really enjoyed that, looking at them cars with you today. And we'll do a, a, another video shortly. Until then, thanks very much and goodbye.